compensation. If we could just have a show of hands for anybody who's working for the other side. You're working for the other side, you're a shill, you're working for MI5, for the police. If you could just let us know who you are, please. Hands up, please. I'm working for the dead. I'm an agent right. of the dead. Agent of the dead, okay, so one, two, three. you as well? Yeah, yeah. I must say, I did suspect. Yeah, you, and you, and you. Blimey, there's a lot of you out there. We're all agents of the dead. Yes, yes, yes. agents of the dead. <laughs> Okay, just to let you know, you're CIA, okay, so we've got CIA, we've got general people who have to admit, and Mossad, any Mossad agents here? Mossad agent there, ain't no sunshine when she's gone, yeah. And clear, um, it's clearly talking about Israel Palestine, it's been very sunny there. Okay, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little chat together on the megaphone um, about what we've been doing. We started our work here, as most of you know, in May. Um, and we started it here, and we of course got moved on, and then it all went from there. And uh, we've made a decision that we're going our separate ways, but we're not really going our separate ways, because there is no separate way to go, because separation is an illusion. But love one another, doing... keep loving one another. What was that, sorry? Keep loving one another wherever you are in the world. Okay, the man with the black hand said, keep loving one another wherever you are in the world. Who am I to argue with him? Okay. Any other instructions, I promise you I will keep them at all time. So um, I wanted to just publicly say to Charlie that I am incredibly grateful that uh, you came into my life um, before you were in my life. I had a lovely, quiet life. I could go to town, uh, turn up with my megaphone, and nobody would be there. But now it's wonderful to know that every time I go to town, I get 50 renegades turning up with me. So thanks a lot for that, Charlie. So this is love in action. I'd also like to thank you, Charlie, for your amazing editing. Your amazing editing. By the way, for the sort of poor police officers, on the one hand, I have some sympathy for you that you're having to stand here in the cold. On the other hand, you are being paid for it, unlike this lot. For you guys, in case you haven't checked out the videos, type in everything is okay into YouTube and enjoy. Sorry, was that, was that, does that mean it's time for me to... No, that was love, that was love, that was more love. Don't worry, more love, okay. So I wanted to thank Charlie for his amazing editing skills, and, and please, if you, uh, perhaps the, 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 uh, the crowd who's seen some of these films would like to show him some love by making some noise. Uh, we do apologise to you, I'm really, really sorry for making a little bit of noise outside one of your thousands of icons. Actually, I suspect, Jesus, you're probably quite embarrassed about all these icons going up because they probably lost the message, didn't they? It really wasn't about icons, but never mind. Anyway, so thank you for your amazing editing, Charlie. Thank you for your amazing, what we call in, uh, in uh, Yiddish, chutzpah. If you don't know what chutzpah is, look it up. Because that's what he's got, a lot of chutzpah. Thank you for your chutzpah. Yeah. Thank you for caring about the world. Thank you for caring about those people who aren't as lucky as we all are. Thank you for your guts and your creativity. Thank you for everything that you've done in the past six months. I just wanted to explain before I hand over to you, Charlie, that I feel that um, the fact that there are so many people here, um, sometimes people will call them fans. And the word fan, is, if I'm not mistaken, is, is related to fanatic. And you do all look like a lot of fanatics to me. Very, very dodgy. If I was a police officer, I'd arrest the whole lot of you. You're probably done some type of crime, but then so is everyone. By the way, just a quick aside, I was in court last week as an observer, as an observer, it's okay, it's okay. And uh, I just noticed the very clever neurolinguistic programming aspect of the word court, because what a court is, is a place where the people who haven't been caught yet try, put, put the people who have supposedly been caught on trial. Anyway, so I'd like to thank you, Charlie. I'd like to say that I'm looking forward to us both going on our journeys. There is only one destination. I don't know where it is, but I know there's only one destination. Death, death, death is the destination. Does anybody know where the destestination is? Death, death, death is the destination. Death. Death, yes, death. That's true, we're all going to die. Uh, if anybody here is not going to die, please, if you could just raise your hand, you're not going to die. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on a second. It's the same people who said they're working for the other side. You know about that technology that keeps you alive forever, right? Some of us you're keeping, it to, your, still you're keeping it to yourself. Yeah, okay, so he says the man with the black hat, who does look very authoritative with that hat, 